everybody, in today's video I will be using some of ColourPop's new pressed eyeshadows. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I picked up several of the new ColourPop shadows and I also was able to grab off their website um, a couple of these cases. The time I bought mine, if you bought um, for eyeshadows, you got a case for free, and since I bought eight eyeshadows at this purchase, I got two of them for free, and there was a limited two. And prior to that, I had picked up these seven shades, so I just have those in a little Z palette. And what I did with these colors is in this case, I've put mattes in this one, and then I have gone ahead and I've put some shimmers in this one and then the one in my Z palette is just a mix of them so for today's look I'm going to be doing kind of a pinky pinky peachy kind of look and we'll give it a try now one thing I also heard and saw online with these palettes and I haven't done it yet if you actually pull this top off of it um, it comes off and then everything is magnetic underneath this so you can actually put more eyeshadows in there too. So I plan on doing that. I just wanted to hold off until um, I had a chance to film this video and show you what they look like. The other thing I picked up, I'll show you real quick. Um, this was off Amazon and I want to say it was like seven bucks or something. Um, but this is a little kit that is for um, your sewing supplies, so your needles and things like that. And this is actually magnetic in the bottom. So if I wanted to, I could take any of these, slip it right in there and see how they stay because it's magnetic at the bottom. So if you don't want to spend $20 on a Z palette, you can purchase a few of these for the same price and have all of your um, eyeshadows, you can put your blushes, anything that you can depot or earn single pans and put those right in here. I'll leave a link to it down below if you are interested in getting that as well. So let's get started. Um, make sure you also subscribe to my channel too. I've got some exciting things coming up and I'm very thrilled about that. So can't say anything right now. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this color and do this all over my lid. This is called Hear Me Out. It's beautiful, neutral, um, just a skin colored matte shade. Again, I'm just going to go all over the entire lid with that. I like this because it's lighter than my skin tone. And the look I'm going for today is a light look. So I don't want to have anything really dark in there. All right, the next shade I'm going to go in with is... I'm going to kind of mix two. So I'm going to take these two colors, um, this brown here and this orangish color here, and lightly mix them together. Uh, the brown is called Wake Me, Wake Me Call. Sorry, couldn't see right there. And then the peachy color is called Wait For It. So again, I'm just going to lightly tap in between the two. I'm using one of my Morphe brushes and I'm going to use this as my transition color. Because again, I want to keep this kind of light. If anything, I want more of the peachy color than the brown. Okay. Now, next one I'm going to do is, let me do this one. This one is called Out of Luck, and it's even a paler peach color. And I'm going to use that on the same brush to just kind of blend out any harsh lines that I have. And again, that's going to lighten this up a little bit too. Okay, now Let's go into this beautiful pinky color here, which is called Flower Boy. Not flower Girl, Flower Boy. 
And again, on the same brush, I'm going to go very lightly with this one because it's pretty pigmented. And take that even closer in on the crease. And let me take a big fluffy brush here and just kind of blend those all in. All right, next I'm going to be taking my Lexi 231 uh, tapered brush and I'm going to go into this brown shade right there. And that one is called, eh, I'm about ready to put my nails in these, so be careful. Um, made to last. And that's going to go even more into that crease. Just a little bit. And I'm trying to keep this a light look, so that's why I'm not going with a really dark brown. Okay. Now comes the fun part. Let me clean that brush off. We've got this beautiful burgundy color right here. And this one is called Get Out. Isn't that pretty? Using that same brush, which I just cleaned off, I'm going to take just the teeniest bit and use that on my outer V. Hmm. See, I didn't tap off. Look what I did on that eye. That's how pigmented these are. Okay, let's go blend this out before I do any more damage. Clean that brush off and go back into that transition color again just to kind of tone that down a little bit. Okay, so we are now done with the matte shades until um, we get to the lower lashes. Uh, what I'm going to do is use kind of a combination between this palette and this one. Um, what I'm going to start out with, though, is this pretty shade here, which is called Liar Liar, and I'm going to take a flat brush, make sure it's clean, and I'm going to take that on the inner part of my eye. Okay, so I've only gone about a third of the way in. Then I'm going to take this other tone, which ah, almost dropped it. Uh, this one is called Bouquet Toss. And this one's got a gold, kind of a rose gold color. And that one's going to go right in the center of the lid. And I'm going to again clean that brush off. And then last but not least, this stunning burgundy-ish shimmer color called Pinky Promise. That's going to go in that V shape again, right over the top of the other burgundy that I put down. It's going to help deepen it up and give it some shimmer. I'm going to swatch these for you in just a little bit so you get an idea of what all these colors look like. But they have a very large selection of these on their website. Okay, 
in. Let's go in and blend this all out. Okay, wrong brush to do that. I'll take this. <gasps> Now, before I move on to the lower lashes, I want to go ahead and tight line using my trusty Sephora waterproof liner there. Okay, now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I am going into that beautiful orangey shade that we had originally used cap off because this stuff is not only really pigmented but it can have a little bit of fallout to it and I'm going really generously under the lower lash line and I'm taking that up a little bit almost like a little wing then I'm going to take a flat finer brush. This is the Luxie 221. And I'm going to go into that burgundy MAC shade that we use, which already the name escapes me. Uh, let me get a mirror here so I can see up close what I'm doing. And I'm going to take that right along the lower lash line. This is what the finished look looks like. Um, you can see I got a little bit of fallout there, so let me gently take some of that off. And let me put on some lashes and mascara, and I will be right back. All right, here is the finished look with the eyeshadows now that I have my mascara on. And I really like this look. It's a great light color, great for springtime if it ever gets here. It's, uh, it's supposed to snow today. Knock on wood, we haven't had any yet, but glad to hear that. Um, anyway, I really enjoy these. They blend out beautifully. Their color selection is just amazing. Um, the shimmers are just stunning and very pigmented. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a swatch right here of the colors that I have for you, and I'll put the names on them as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, I have some interesting things coming up here in the next few videos. So you want to make sure that you stay tuned for those. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, please feel free to leave those down below. Feel free to just say hi if you'd like to. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. But until next time, thanks again for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.